Hey, I'm Some Idiot Cooking, and today, we're gonna be making pickles. Now the first thing that you're gonna need when making pickles is some cucumbers. All you've really gotta do is give your cucumbers the good old veggie call, and they'll come running out. Hello, please. Hello, please. Hello, please. They're a little shy at first, but if you're persistent, Hello, please. Wait, you hear that? Hello, please. Hello, please. Uh -huh. Hello, please. Huh? Oh, oh. Let me get that sucker. Yo, now that's some cucumber jazz. What is that? What's happening? Holy shit! Aha, knew it. Now at this point in the process, you're going to want to grab your pickling jar that very conveniently already has about 10 black peppercorns and a sliced up clove of garlic inside of it. And your dill that you bought at the market yesterday that is already wilting, er, dilting, disgusting. <laughs> wow! Now that was a dill spinkable joke! You must be delirious to have fucking said that on camera! <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and delete yourself from the face of the <clears> earth? <throat> I've seen some groundbreaking scientists who would slap their herbs before using them to open up the flavors. Put it in your hand and slap it. And slap it. But, um. I'm not going to do that. Instead, I like to treat my herbs like a lady, which is with respect. Baby, I'll do anything for you. I respect you so much. You're so beautiful. Mmm. Getting a little... Mm -mm. So now we'll rip off a decent sized sprig of dill, throw it in our jar, and we'll just place that to the side. And now it's time for our cucumbers, which we are just going to thinly slice. Mm. Then you're gonna grab your cucumber slices as though you're playing a game of basketball and then just throw them into your jar. Before just giving up and scooping the cucumbers into the jar with your hand because you've always sucked at that game. Now you're gonna wanna get about a half a cup of water and pour half a cup of vinegar in there about. You just want equal parts essentially. I like a little more vinegar, whatever you want. Add a pretty decent amount of salt Bring your pickling potion to a boil. Now I'm gonna take my boiling liquid and pray to God that I don't spill this all over the place because I always do that. Better than I thought. Now your sour circles, they're pretty much ready. You just gotta let them cool down to room temperature, pop them in the fridge, wait a couple days for the vinegar to really seep into them, and you're pretty much good to go. Three days later. So, let me get this straight. You want me, the D, to eat this shit? You're seriously trying to teach people how to make this? Oh, ew. 